Hello everyone, welcome to our second series on how to file patent by yourself in India. Today, in our fifth lecture, we are going to learn regarding examination of patent document. See, you have already submitted your document. Now it is time for examination. How does that procedure start or take place? Basically, for the examination of patent, you need to make request to the government. So how do you make that request? A form needs to be submitted instructing the government that now your application needs examination. Form 18, which is the request for examination of application for patent. It needs to be submitted to the government without which the government won't start the examination. So it is a mandatory document after filing of your application. So it is basically a one page document and today we are going to learn the parameters of the same. First is the applicant details. So it is similar as we have learned in case of form one and form two, the data needs to be the same. You need to replicate the data of the applicant which was submitted at the time of application filing which has been submitted in form 1 and 2. All the details of the applicant, the name, address, nationality which was submitted needs to be replicated here. All the details of the applica applicants, if there are multiple applicants, every applicant's data needs to be submitted here. Okay, the next column is very important and crucial. Here it is the statement in case of request for examination made by the applicant. Here it states IV dash hereby request that our application for patent number dash IV dash dash means the name of the applicant needs to be mentioned here. Okay. If there are multiple applicants, every applicant's name, only the full complete name needs to be mentioned here. Next is the patent number. At the, after the uh, filing of your patent application, you would have received a patent application number which needs to be mentioned here correctly. The next is filed on. Here the priority date or the filing date of the application needs to be mentioned here. Okay. For the invention titled dash shall be examined. The title of the invention which was submitted at the time of application which was also submitted in form 1, 2 the same title without any change needs to be mentioned here okay under section 12 and 13 of the act you do not need to learn about the uh, act but these are the details that you need to fill so you need to be very careful the data should be same which has been mentioned in form 1 and 2 and the title which has been submitted should be kept the same and the patent application number which has been received from the registry should be correctly stated because based on that the government will take the same application for examination okay the next is address for service in india see at the time of application in form one you have submitted communication details right the address the email id and the phone number which was submitted for communication so that the registry could send the documents or the update regarding patent filing. The same details needs to be replicated here, needs to be mentioned here. Okay, so here same as mentioned in form one, the name of the receivant, the address, email ID and the phone number needs to be mentioned here, the recipient. Okay, the next is dated this dash. That means the date on which the, this form 18 is being submitted needs to be mentioned here very clear so nothing much to learn here just the date on which you are submitting this application needs to be mentioned here the next is signature name of the signatory here the signatory who has submitted his signature his or her at the time of application submission that is in form 1 and 2 the same name of the person and signatory needs to be mentioned here if there were multiple signatory like multiple applicants everyone's name and signature needs to be provided at the time of submission of form 18 okay the last is to the controller of patent the patent office at means which office is the application being submitted 
based on the state your uh, based on your address and the state of your application the jurisdiction is decided you need to verify before submission i think at the time of submission of form 1 and 2 you would have already exercised this so the same jurisdiction needs to be mentioned here okay so what are the point that needs to be taken care form 18 the request for examination can only be filed after the submission of complete specification see after the filing of provisional you cannot submit this form it is mandatory to submit the complete application because obviously the government will be considering your complete specification for examination so after the submission of complete only then from that date the complete uh, the examination will begin okay the next is submission of form 18 is mandatory see if you won't submit form 18 the government won't consider your uh, application for examination it will keep it under hold till you submit the application the government will keep making request that you have not submitted this application so you need to do that there is a predefined fees for the submission of form 18 the government is not going to do the examination free of cost <laughs> so you need to submit the fees which is already predefined on the government website you need to submit that along with form 18 okay so it you have to make this form uh, you have to submit this form for the examination and the last point is you have uh, 48 months from the priority date or the filing date for the submission of this uh, form so as early as you submitted the it will the government will take it under examination or or else the government has provided you with the provision of 80 48 months for the submission of this form and after that if in case the examination form is not submitted your application gets abandoned and there is no use of your idea okay so i hope you have learned the importance of form 18 it is mandatory and if you have any doubts or queries regarding what details needs to be submitted or you know when it needs to be submitted you can write us write to us in our comment session or you can definitely chat with our experts on our website www.mycrave.co.in if after drafting if you have any queries you want to get an expert review you can drop us a mail at info@mycrave.co.in 24/7 our experts are available for your for core query solving or else visit our facebook page most of your you know queries can be resolved from there and if you enjoyed the video you found it valuable do like us do share us uh, share our videos and if you want to learn more regarding patent filing or you know other details about patent or ipr do subscribe to our channel right so till we meet next time beware and do remember use it before you lose it bye